Are we filming? Yeah. I've been here long enough that I've ended up becoming like the house maintenance person. So I end up like fixing all the shit. So it's kind of nice that I've put in like a lot of work to this house and like kind of helped make it more, have more of a personality and like, like get attached to the rooms, get attached to like the people and the, the atmosphere and like how kind of like the fun we have, but also like the respect that everybody gives each other. Ask away. Um, so moving into a house with 10 other people was really great because it gave me a chance to get to know some people right away and make some friends and I got really lucky. Um, I have awesome, awesome housemates. I've met people from all over the world, just kind of at socials. I may not know them very well, but yeah, we do host meetings. I try and do one every, uh, every couple weeks. And you know, yes, co-op provides supplies and provides maintenance, but they also only have so many people. I think it's a good area. We li we're really lucky to live in this area, actually. Like, it's a very family-oriented area, um, so don't be afraid to go out and look around. You're not getting anything out of me. Nope. <laughs> Co-op is great for invading people's space. <laughs> Um, actually, a really good friend of mine lives here. Yeah, so she's been here for a couple of years, and she's talked about this place, she loves it. At first, when I came in, to be frank with you, I wasn't sure. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't sure. I find that as the months go by, um, as I get to know everyone in the house, it feels a lot more homey. Me and the friend I know really well, we're hanging out in the back, and a couple of people over there came over and were talking to us, and it was chill. Like, like we're really kind of all very open to sharing and like doing things together. Like I know one thing me and my friend do a lot I and mean, then like we invite other people to join us is to like cook and to share ingredients and just make a good meal and just like hang out and watch some TV. Almost everyone at co-op is socialist. I mean isn't the whole point of co-op and being here sort of a socialist experiment in some ways? Like that's interesting. I, I for sure Expected you to say socialist, but Christian socialist is interesting. Really? Yeah, in the 30s. The, 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 that whole like student Christian movement thing? That's interesting because I'm actually a part of some of their events and stuff. And yeah, and they've never really brought that up. That's fascinating to me. Uh, well, when I first arrived in Coop, I, I, I liked uh, the location and, uh, and, and the rents. Uh, I found out that Coop was uh, more than simply an enjoyable place for to live, it's also a community. There was this emulative spirit, I would say, among uh, some of us. Mm -hmm. So uh, we were born, uh, we were yeah, striving towards similar goals and uh, we were in a sense uh, complementary also. I first thought to, to be elected on the board uh, because I thought that there was a disconnect between the membership, which is a sovereign, and the board, which is supposed to uh, represent a form of common and common interest or common goal that the, that this membership shares. I still have faith in the institutions, but the institution has to to, to find the legitimacy to guide uh, the membership, but also to uh, gain strength from the membership. The board cannot afford to be a microcosm. It has to remain connected with the membership. But uh, you know, it was a very formative, uh, formative uh, period of my of my uh, life. I know a lot of people who have peaks at twenty. I think we're not a generation that peaks at twenty because whether you're in or out of co-op haven't experienced a lot by that age, and you certainly haven't seen a lot of successes by that age, unfortunately. Um, Boiler Co-op can be a part of that. Maybe you've done well, 
because it teaches you patience and it teaches you to focus on the future of a project rather than like instant gratification because you won't see a lot of instant gratification in co-op like whether it's from the board level or from the membership level like things things do take time and they, they take like a, a sustained effort 